Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. I'm Ustaz Ismail Hashim, most religious officer of Masjid Al Falah. Join me as we discuss three aspects required for Ramadan. Three aspects of Ramadan, what we must have. Number one is patience. Patience, as Allah Sallallahu says, is half of Iman. As sabr is full Iman. And also, he says, as sabr is full sabr. Meaning, the fasting is half of your patience. So you build up patience in order to build up your Iman. And how do you build up patience? Because when you are fasting, you are hungry, you are thirsty, and then all sorts of things, and then you have to be patient. If you are not patient, then you cannot fast. Your fast cannot be prolonged. So therefore, you cannot break your fast. So you have to be patient. In order to maintain your fast, you have to be patient. And patience is the most important thing because without patience, you cannot fast, you cannot do anything. So this patience will, will train you to be patient with your family, your wife, your children, your society. So even if there are problems, you will face them with patience. And patience will always bring success to you. So that is why Allah says this is patience is very, very important. Yeah? And number two, <coughs> is the um, shukur. Shukur is gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How do you say gratitude? How do you see the gratitude? For example, you are fasting now, you are hungry. You think about yesterday's food. You ate yesterday, nasi biryani, whatever it is. So you feel good, but who gave you? Allah gave you. So you say thank you Allah. And you show gratitude to Allah. You have a feeling of gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you are hungry. When you are hungry, then you train yourself <coughs> to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is what Allah tells us, la inshaqartum la azidannakum. Meaning, if you thank me, I will increase whatever I'm giving you. So whatever comes to you is from Allah. So you have to thank Him for it. So when you thank Him, then He will increase, keep on giving you. So therefore, you have to be patient and then thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number three, <coughs> it is taqwa. Allah tells us, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, kutiba alaykum usiyam, kama kutiba ala ladhina min qablikum, la'allakum tattaqun. You see? O oh, you who believe, I have ordained upon you to fast, just as I have ordained upon others before, others before you. Like for example, Musa alayhi salam fasted 40 days. You can see in the Matthew, I think chapter 42, and then <coughs> Isa al Islam also fasted 40 days. Eh? You can see in the uh, Bible also. So all that before us, Allah has already given this order. So, but for us, this is a different kind, but it is still the fasting. So the fasting give prepare you or train you to be to have taqwa. What is taqwa? Taqwa doesn't mean you just sit down in the mosque, pray five times a day, and do zikr. No, it's not that. Eh? In, <coughs> say now, Umar radiallahu anhu, once somebody was sitting inside the mosque, eh, praying after subo prayers. He said, what are you doing? He said, I'm praying. Do you have a family? He said, yes, I have a family. Why don't you go out and earn for your family? Get out. So you slap him and get out. You see? That is how Sayyidina Umar radiallahu trained people. So it's not for you. Taqwa doesn't mean you just sit down in the mosque and do things, you know. You have to go out and work. But at, at the same time, when you are working, you see that everything is halal. That is taqwa. It's not just sit down there and do zikir and pray. That is not taqwa. You see, you may have taqwa reading Quran. For example, you're reading Quran and then 
you pray in the mosque five times a day or ten times a day, but you go outside and do something wrong, something which is haram. You go home and beat up your wife. That is not taqwa. You see, Allah tells us, فَإِذَا قُضِيَةِ الصَّلَاةِ فَانْتَشِرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَابْتَغُوا مِنْ فَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ When you have finished your prayers, during Jum'ah prayers, for example, you finish, run out into the streets, go and do your job, your work, earn a living, and remember, don't forget to remember Allah very much. لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So that you will succeed. You see, how? Remembering Allah is, you don't do anything that is haram, you do everything that is halal, and whatever is forbidden by Allah, you don't do it. That is the thinking of Allah. In other words, thinking about Allah, thinking of Allah all the time, because He is with us all the time. Inshallah, may Allah bless us all, inshallah. Shukran Ustaz. Uh, I would love to have some time again, and I can't thank you enough. Thank you for your willingness to share with us those values. There were so many gems, and I hope the viewers could also learn from you sharing and are able to practice it in Ramadan as much as they can, inshallah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the strength to further contribute to the society much more, inshallah. Shukran, Ustaz.